Come on in. And those kind of people, dear. I mean, we're all liberals, but open hybridization. And they're landlords, so they get relocated. That's all, Mother. Well, I don't understand. Red ball. Oh. I think there's something that you should know, Mother. What's that, dear? I think I love a girl who's a Negro. <laughs> Elgar, let's go for a little drive. I want to talk to you. Uh... Daddy? Yes? Uh, we're going for a drive. Something's come up. Elgar, a lot of these people, not all, mind you, there's good black people as well as good white people. I've always taught you that. But some, mind you, live to set traps for rich white women. I'm not a rich white woman, mother. I know that, dear. I, I didn't mean that. You know I didn't mean that. It's just, Elgar, didn't we all go together to see Guess Who's Coming to Dinner? Yeah. It's just, Elgar, you have to realize all Negroes are not like that. Well, you sound like a segregationist. I think you have a castration complex that leads you to say things you like that. You have a that. castration complex. I can't have a castration complex. It isn't physically possible oh, for me Oh, let's face it, Mother. A castration, castration complex is one of the crosses a liberated female must bear. Oh, you think, you think I'm liberated, dear? Joyce, you are a liberated, aggressive, butch American broad. Doesn't mean I don't love you. What does it mean, dear? It means I'm going to do what I want with my damn life. So, you're going to marry a negress. <laughs> You'll be happy to hear she's very light. Son, do me a favor, make sure. Oh, Mother, I don't care, and I don't you understand? Why don't you come down to my house and help me plan what I'm going to do with it? Me, your castrated mother? What could I possibly do to help? Just help me, just help me plan it. You can pick out the drapes, uh, wallpaper, stuff like that. Huh? Huh? You only have to ask, dear. That's all you've ever had to do. And don't worry about that girl, dear. If she's putting you on, she's most likely only Jewish. Hey, would I shouldn't be long. Mrs. Anders. Oh. The landlord's wife. Oh, thank you very much. I'm his mother. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I didn't get your name. Marge. Just call me Marge. Marge? Uh, what's your name, dear? Same as my son, Anders. Oh. <laughs> what's your first name? Joyce. Yeah. What you got there, George? Oh. Oh, I was just browsing through House Beautiful, and I came across this material for drapes, and I thought I'd drop over and measure the windows and have some made up for Elgar for a housewarming gift, but... <laughs> he is that thoughtful. I sew. You do? Mm-hmm. I made all the designs for Ruby Randall's fashion show at the Rock of Ages. You did? Mm-hmm. 
Listen, darling, drink your wine before the ice cubes melt. From the looks of this apartment, um, obviously the water comes in second hand. <laughs> This is okay. You're a hero. Why does it foam like that? Is that carbonated? Oh, it's just ruthless. It's ruthless. <laughs> well, listen, listen. Would you like to have a little lunch? I got some ham hocks. I got some greens. I never eat lunch. It's my own diet. <laughs> never. Honey, you better sit down and have some lunch. How your white folks gonna defend yourself if you don't eat? <laughs> What is that? Pot liquor. Pot? Pot, pot, li pot liquor. Uh, juice from the greens. Oh. It's lead in your pencil. Mm -hmm. Lead in my pencil? Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs> Hawks will better if you take your gloves off. Oh, good God, my gloves. Uh, actually, I've taken up re-embodiment. Re-embodiment? What's that? We live again. Huh. Don't count on it. Oh, yes. Oh, I have something to tell you. I did something very naughty this morning. Yes. Yeah. What'd you do? Yes. You dirtied on the floor. Oh, oh, oh no! No! Oh. Well, now, now, give me two more guesses. Hell no! That was... Oh, it's funny. What? I forgot. What I did this morning, isn't that funny? It's a wonder you remember where you are, honey. You're on your second job. Let me pour you another little nip here. I wasn't important anyway. No. So, uh, as I was saying, mm. you know, I was very popular when I was young. And all the young men were so attractive. Oh. Mm. Oh, God. And my husband. That was good. I can't remember which one I married. 